What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my powerful, and my sexy Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, you guys, so we're going to bust down this Celtic cross. If anything resonates for you, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, also comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. And anything you need to know about me, Scorpio, will be in the description box below, okay? All right, Scorpios, let's go. So, you guys, the first card that come out is going to tell who the reading is going to be about, okay? So, we have three cards that came out, Scorpios. I don't know what type of reading it's going to be, but let's go, okay? We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And we also have the Queen of Wands in reverse, okay? Okay, so the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, you can be dealing with another Scorpio or you can be dealing with a Libra here, okay? It doesn't have to be either one of those signs. This is just energy. This talks about true love, Scorpio. This talks about falling in love. This also talks about some type of proposal, okay? This cup here talks about an offer, some type of proposal. But this talks about someone is being guided, like someone here, their heart and their intuition here, okay? They're listening to their heart and their intuition and they're allowing their heart and their intuition to guide them, okay? This is also talking about someone that their heart is being pulled towards someone, someone wanting to move forward in a relationship here. Now, this also signifies that some of you could be meeting someone while you're out and about, okay? You could be out at the grocery store. You could be out and about with friends. You know what I'm saying? You're just out and about. Minding your own business and bam, here come this knight and shining armor here, okay? Male or female, it doesn't have to be. But I feel like this is the same person that now, Scorpio, that was breadcrumbing you in the past that could have been given to you in another situation here, okay? This is someone that now wants to balance out the scales. And when this person balances out the scales, they want to give you an equal give and take, okay? That means this person wants to give you reciprocity. They don't want to give a little bit here and a little bit there. Like this person only wants to give to you and only you, okay? But we also got this Queen of Wands in reverse, Scorpio, okay? Now, if you're not familiar with the Queen of Wands upright, that's a good card. The end of these queen of, Queens that you see in reverse, baby, those are not good. Those are karmics, okay? These are third parties. So this Queen of Wands here could be an Aries, a Pisces, doesn't have to be. This is someone that's a Jezebel. Now, if you ain't familiar with the term Jezebel, that means they a whole Scorpio, okay? This is a male or a female that's out here having sex with everybody. This is also someone that needs constant attention, okay? So this is like someone can't make a move without this person, you know, needing someone, wanting someone. Like this is a media-ass person. It's somebody that's also bossy and, control, like, and controlling, which means they want everything to go their damn way. And if it don't go their way, then shit, it might be up for some problem, okay? It might be some furniture mover around this camp, okay? It could be a fight. This is also someone that likes, they enjoy making people feel less than them, okay? So what this means is that this queen of wands here, okay, she's very, he or she is very fiery, very passionate, okay? This is also someone I feel suffers from low self-esteem, okay? Because why you want to feel and make everybody else miserable, okay? So let's see what the situation is here. With these three cards, I don't even know what to say about this. All right, Holy Spirit, what is the situation here? Messages for my Scorpios. What is the situation here? What is the situation? Ooh, okay. So the situation is, Scorpio, that someone here is healing here, okay? With this star card, okay, this talks about healing. This talks about loving yourself, nurturing yourself so that you can become your true, authentic self here, okay? So someone here is learning to pour. You know what I'm saying? They're pouring from the same cup or pouring from two different cups, but it's basically going into the same river here, <clears throat> same river here, okay? So someone here, I feel like is learning about self-love, okay? So this could have been what this person was dealing with. 
this is who the reading is about, but I feel like they were dealing with this karmic in the past, okay? And now they had to heal from this karmic situation, okay? Possibly from, from paying off some type of karmic debt here, okay? All right, so what happened in the recent past, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpio. I love you, Scorpio. Damn, I see it out of my head. Okay, well, we're going to take it. Page of Cups, okay? <laughs> what happened in the recent past, Scorpio? We had the Page of Cups, okay? So what the Page of Cups is, someone here that could have been dealing with depression, someone here that was dealing with some type of heartbreak here, okay? So I feel like in the past, when some of you could have met this person, this person now that wants to give you an equal give and take, this person now that, that that's falling in love with you or they want to present you with some type of offer, I feel like this person was going through some type of heartbreak after dealing with this Queen of Wands here, okay? You guys remember reading I did uh, last week, talked about trying to turn a hoe into a housewife, okay? I feel like this is one of them type situations here, okay? I feel like whoever this is that was in this this Queen of Wands energy in reverse, like this person had always been like this, like this one something new, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like someone here possibly tried to change, you know what I'm saying? This Queen of Wands here, like tried to try to show them something different, you know, try to be like, well, if I love and nurture them and do all this, you know, they'll change, okay? But I feel like the problem was it, it didn't work. So what happened in the recent past is that this person was dealing with some type of heartbreak, okay? Whoever this is that wants to give to you, whoever this is that their heart and their intuition is guiding them to you, Scorpio, they were dealing with this Queen of Wands in the past, okay? This karmic. This Jezebel, okay? And this Jezebel left them heartbroken, okay? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. So what is the problem now? Let's look at the problem of this situation. What is the problem now, Holy Spirit? Look at this. Four of Cups. The problem was, look, Scorpio, when you was trying to, this landed right here. Ooh, look at this. Two cards. This landed right here on the page of Cups, okay? I feel like there were feelings and emotions between you and this person. We got the Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, and Four of Cups, okay? The problem was, Scorpio, in the past, you possibly, like I say, you didn't have to be the one presenting this offer. The universe, okay? This cup is coming from the sky. I feel like the universe was trying to present you, Scorpio. You represented this cup. This hand coming from the sky, this represents God, okay? This represents spirit. Spirit was trying to give this person, present this person with an offer, okay? And this offer that the universe was trying to present this person, Scorpio, was you. Because, see, they knew that the heartbreak and pain, they knew what this person was dealing with, dealing with this mobile, okay? <laughs> With this mofo right here, okay, they knew, you know what I'm saying? The universe knew what this person was dealing with, dealing with this person, okay? So they was like, all right, then. But we'll present you with an offer here. We got Scorpio here. You know what I'm saying? Now, Scorpio, you know what I'm saying? Ain't what you, we ain't going to say what you're looking for. They ain't glittering and, and, and golfing, and they got this sparkle like you're looking for, okay? I feel like you didn't have that, that bedazzle that this person was looking for. So look, they weren't happy. Look at this person's arms folded, Scorpio. They weren't happy with this offer that was being presented from the universe. And Scorpio, you was the damn offer that was being presented here. They weren't content. See, they had three other cups up here. You know what I'm saying? This could have been money. This could have been this third party and other things. Like, they had other things that they were focusing on. This, this person's attention is focused right here on these three cups, okay? They weren't even looking. They didn't even look at this offer. They weren't even designed this offer that was coming from the universe, okay? So this is what the problem was. The problem was this person, I feel like, was too heartbroken over this Queen of Wands. You know what I'm saying? Because they had gave this Queen of Wands. They all, like I said, tried to turn a hoe into a housewife, Scorpio. Uh, a, whole, a husband, a husband, wife, whatever you want to call it. Male or female. They were heartbroken because this is what they were doing. They were saying to give offers and presenting things to this person. You know, trying to show this person, like, hey, you know, I'm the better choice. I can do this. I can do this. But no, because see... This offer they presented came from them. It didn't come from the universe. This this gift that Spirit was presenting, this person, Scorpio, this came straight from God. How you going to bypass the offer that come from God? I mean, come on now. And I feel like because this person, the problem is, this person hasn't been able to complete any cycles. They haven't, in, haven't been able to start any new phases. It's like this person is stuck in this cycle here, okay? They've been stuck. In this karmic cycle, dealing with this karmic here, dealing with this third party, 
But I feel like that was a part of their karma. Okay? That was a part of their karma. Like to have all these obstacles, all these delays thrown their way. Dealing with this third party. Dealing with this karmic. Because they weren't interested. Like Holy Spirit was like, okay, so you don't want this offer I'm trying to give you, which is Scorpio, a beautiful ass. Then bet. You know what I'm saying? So this, so the universe kind of put delays and blockages on this person's path. You know, they're trying to get ahead. They're trying to do things in life. They're like, nah. Because a lot of you guys, this offer that was being presented, you, this is your divine counterpart. This is your twin flame. And they were like, because I feel like for some of you guys, your divine counterpart dealing with this Jezebel, they was like, man, Holy Spirit, I just need somebody real. Like, they prayed for you. I feel like this person prayed. For you, Scorpio. They pray for an opportunity. Not like they didn't ask for you in particular. Like, I want Scorpio. I want shit. You know what I'm saying? They didn't ask for your name in particular. But the person they asked for, Scorpio, what they manifested was you. But when they got that shit, Scorpio, they weren't happy. They weren't content with that shit, okay? Because I feel like this person was still trying to prove themselves to somebody that didn't give a damn about them being proved to, okay? Now, this problem is, Scorpio, now this person changing their mind. They're like, you know what? Holy Spirit did try to present Scorpio to me at one point in time. You know what I'm saying? And telling me that Scorpio was going to be this and that. And we was going to have this and that. Like somebody here is revisiting, you know, an idea that they possibly put to the side in the past, you know? So let's see what the outside influence. Like this person is revisiting this offer. Damn, the car is just flying out. <laughs> This person is revisiting this offer that the universe presented to them in the past here, okay? I feel like a lot of outside influences, Scorpio, was that there were a lot of hidden, there were a lot of secrets. That is what influenced this connection. This is why you and this person couldn't come together and have this relationship, build this foundation. That's why you guys can do nothing because there were too many secrets, okay? Too many hidden motives. Too many things, Scorpio, that you are not aware of, okay? This person had a lot of secrets, okay? The person they was dealing with, Scorpio, this this queen of wands had a lot of secrets. Like, it was a bunch of secrets going on, Scorpio. And the thing was that you was blind to it. A lot of us was blind to these secrets. We didn't start finding this shit out till we started listening to readings and started getting, you know, more spiritual. And then spirit started showing us things on a more spiritual level about these people that we were dealing with, okay? So a lot of us, Scorpio, was blind to all of this shit. That was going on. I know I was. And a lot of us Scorpio needed to be blind. We didn't we didn't need to, you know what I'm saying, be aware of all this stuff because it, some of this stuff is gonna be harmful to us, okay? But it talks about deception. It talks about people operating in their shadow stuff, okay? It talks about secrets, fear, confusion. I feel like someone here, you can trust this person, okay? You can trust this person and they can trust this damn sorry part. Like it was a bunch of untrustworthy people around this mug, okay? So what are the hopes and fears, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. I got to go back and give y'all these signs, too. I said uh, Aries, Pisces. We got Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. We got Pisces, Aquarius. What's the Four of Cups? Four of Cups is Cancer. Yeah, Four of Cups is Cancer. Okay. So what are the hopes and fears of this situation, Holy Spirit? Messages. Damn. But y'all see how these cards coming out? Look at this. <laughs> oh. Scorpio. I feel like you fear this person is not going to change. Like, whatever you got, however you got this person the first go round, Scorpio, you fear that this person is going to keep resisting this change, okay? Because for some of you guys, this person needed to go through a transformation. Especially after dealing with this Queen of Wands, I feel like it was some old crazy-ass stuff going on with this Queen of Wands here, okay? So this person needs to transform their whole life, okay? They need to make changes from the inside out. Before this person can take this leap of faith, okay? This person can't come towards you. They cannot and they will not come towards you, okay? Until they make these changes. Like, Holy Spirit is not going to allow this person to come towards you, Scorpio. Until they close out this cycle with this third party, okay? 
and until they make these changes, until they go through this transformation here, okay? So for some of you, it's still gonna be a while. Okay, all these cards, we got a light of um, we got the moon, the star, we got the world, the food, the death. Okay, all it's a lot of stuff that's going on behind the scenes, Scorpio. Okay, so a lot of this stuff is going on, could be going on now, and you're um, aware of it. Okay, a lot of us, especially dealing with our divine counterparts, so we ain't really supposed to kind of know everything, just like they don't really know everything that's going on with us, okay? Because we got our own path, they got their own path, okay? We're finding out some of the stuff, okay? Because we listen to the readings, but it's like a lot of things are going on behind the scenes here, okay? So in this situation here, Scorpio, you have a lot of major arcanas, which means these things are going on behind the scenes. You don't know nothing about this stuff. 15, 15 <clears throat> on the clock, if I'm saying that. What's going to be the outcome of this Holy Spirit? <clears throat> Let's see the Eight of Cups in reverse. We're going to see. What's going to be the outcome, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpios. What is going to be the outcome of this situation for my Scorpios? What is going to be the outcome? Ooh, look at this. Look at this, Scorpio. Look what the outcome is going to be. The Ten of Cups. I'm telling you, Scorpio, I feel like a lot of this is your divine counterpart. It doesn't have to be. This could be someone from your past, somebody that you're waiting on, Scorpio. And that you're wanting to reconnect with, okay? This talks about the heart. This talks about love, Scorpio. This talks about having your happily ever after, okay? This talks about your wish fulfillment. Because, Scorpio, we got all these cups out here. You and this person, you are each other's wish fulfillment here. Look at all these offers in these cups. You guys feel these offers, these cups. Some of you guys are fish. You can actually have a child with this person, okay? But with this Ten of Cups, it talks about marriage, Scorpio, a lasting bond total happiness okay you counting your blessings like this person being like oh thank you lord but let me go to this transformation let me find scorpio and scorpio give me another chance like you count all your blessings okay this also talks about family bonds lasting bonds bonds that can't nobody else break see this third part this here all this person was in this person's life was to get them right for you scorpio i'm gonna keep it real with you these karmas and these third part, they would put any in these people's lives, Scorpio, in our person's life to get them right for us. You know what I'm saying? They had to transform. It's like we're transforming. See, we did it on our own. See, they needed some help because they, they were scared. They A lot of them, Scorpio, were scared to take these weaker faces because they had been dealing with this type of shit in the past. And they was like, oh, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. Just like us. A lot of us that's been hurt by them, we scared to fall in love or have love again. Same thing. We mirror each other. You see that? Same thing. All right, you guys, let's see who this reading is about. Let's go to the who did. So the outcome is, Scorpio, after going through all of this, you and this person, Scorpio, can have and will have this ten of cups, okay? But it's a process, baby. It's a whole motherfucking process, okay? Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about when it comes to my Scorpio? Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about? <clears throat> who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? All right, someone who wears the lashes. Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? Okay, we have visible side mark. I mean, side mark. Lord have mercy. Visible birthmark, sideburns. A 65 to 70. This could be someone that's tall, that's over six feet. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about? Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? Okay, Scorpio, we have older female, long wavy hair, thick eyebrows, and wears braces, okay? So let's get the signs. I think I did everybody, but I know it's heavy Aquarius, and you got Sag, Libra, Taurus, Virgo. We got Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Leo. And we, damn, we have heavy Libra, Capricorn, and Virgo. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.